Sorry. Sorry. Okay. Hello. Good morning, everybody. Good Hi. morning. <laughs> and uh, uh, good morning on this beautiful, fine morning. It's a sunny day. Uh, mm -hmm. I hope you're all enjoying the sunshine from your window or your mm -hmm. balcony <laughs> or from your garden. Your yeah, yeah, exactly. And you're all being safe and staying mm. quarantined. Mm. Uh, I'm Joelle. I'm from London and uh, I live near Florence and teach at the Baracca School of uh, Florence. Yeah. I've lived here for, for eight years. Um, but yes, I'm originally from London in the UK. Christine. Great. Yeah. Good morning, Joel. <laughs> Good morning. Um, I'm Christine, yeah, and I'm from Ohio, uh, from the United States. And I also work at the school in Florence, in Via Baracca. And uh, I've been living in Italy, well, in Florence for about four years now. Um, yeah, that's basically me. <laughs> okay, perfect. Hi, Veronica. Where are you Hi. from, v Veronica? Can you share with us where you're from? Okay, so uh, today we are... Hi, Sabrina from Genoa. Hey, yeah. <laughs> uh, today Welcome, we guys. are going to be uh, talking about different hobbies. And I'm sure a lot of you have very interesting and different hobbies okay yeah. so veronica hello as well let's read the introduction here mm -hmm. okay yeah. all right so in this focus activity we're going to talk about describing a hobby um present perfect continuous and the use of for and since uh, mm, important grammar mm, yes yeah. I think it's the the most difficult grammar for Italian people to grasp. Often it is. Yeah. Also Often because I believe yeah. present perfect continuous doesn't exist in your language. You you have mm. no uh, nothing to Being compare it to. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So it's hard for you to understand mm. when or why we use it. Okay. Mm. Yeah, we'll talk about it today and hopefully help. <laughs> oh, Veronica, I remember you. She says she's originally from New Delhi. But yeah. She lives in Chianti. I think I've had a webinar with you before, and yeah. I I remember this fact about New Delhi because not many people are from New Delhi. New Delhi, so yeah. Hi, Veronica, well, not many people in our in our focuses. There are a lot in of our people focuses in, in Delhi. Our focus. <laughs> yeah, from here, from here. Sorry, not a lot of people here yeah. in Italy are from New Delhi. Okay. So, um, describing yeah, a hobby, it. present perfect, for and since. So, remember these two words, for and since, especially mm. since. Since is only used with present perfect or the mm. perfect, the perfect form, sorry. Perfect yeah, form, perfect not perfect, present yeah. perfect. Yeah. Uh, for can be also f in other tenses, but very often yeah, it's for. used with the perfect. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ah, Veronica, yes, we talked about weather. Great. Yes. <laughs> Excellent. I remember, I remember. <laughs> okay. And uh, remember, Veronica, you, you don't say I'm live, but you say I live. Mm. I live, not, not with to be. Okay. Perfect. So, do you want to read? Yeah, or? definitely. So, hobbies. Number one, what is your current hobby? When did you decide to take it up? So take mm. it up. That's a nice phrasal verb just to get started for us this morning. Bam. <laughs> start with bang. Yeah, get started with the phrasal verb. So what does it mean to take it up, take something up? Mm. Okay. So remember, we have many phrasal verbs in English. They all have different meanings. And unfortunately, the only way to learn them is to memorize them. So memorization, yeah. learning them off by heart. Yeah, they're like... So, greater than the sum of their parts, basically. Because if you look at take, it might mean like, oh, to take something. But it and then up is direction. So if you only look at the individual words, you won't yeah. understand what it means. You have mm -hmm. to look at the unit and memorize the meaning from there. Okay. 
Hi it's Luigi uh-huh. from Genoa. Oh yeah, hi guys. And hi Filippo cool. from Rimini. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Um, to take it up, I think to take it up means to start a new project or to start a new hobby. Yeah. So to take up means to begin or to start. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Okay. So um, <clears throat> is this a Guys, question for you- me? Well, yeah, let's let's ask everyone. We can talk together. Yeah. And also, students, what are your current hobbies? And when did you decide to start? Or when did you, when did you decide to take it up? Mm-hmm. Uh, we might have a change in our hobbies given the given current the, situation. <laughs> yeah, yeah, which is OK. Uh, maybe you started a new hobby because of that. I don't know. Mm, um, I would say my current hobby is just the same as before. I always have enjoyed cooking. So mm. lately I've been cooking um, more complicated recipes on the weekend. Oh, I've to... seen some of your photos of some of your recipes. Ah, absolutely. Yeah. Delicious. <laughs> yeah. I love cooking, yeah. <laughs> Okay. So I and do what, that a lot. What better time when you're stuck at home 24-7? <laughs> yeah, you can't eat from restaurants, so it's like oh. you might as well just cook yeah. at home. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I've been cooking more too as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I cooked a nice apple and strawberry crumble with custard Ooh. on Saturday. Ooh, that sounds incredible. <laughs> It is, but I'm the only one eating it here, so. (laughs) (laughs) Even better. (laughs) Okay. So um, my current hobby. Yeah. So current, like literally current. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Hello? Yes. Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, okay. Sorry, I disappeared for a moment. Okay. Uh, yeah, no worries. Oh, Filippo says, during this quarantine, I've dusted my old telescope. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> nice. Yeah. So you're using it to spy on people. Is that what you're doing? Is that your new mm. hobby? <laughs> Spying on your neighbors. <laughs> kind of like the, the old Hitchcock <laughs> film, the rear view mirror the rear view window, if you've ever seen that. Yeah. No. It, That's okay. a great one. It's a great one. Yeah. So yeah, yeah I it. have my current hobby is uh doing aerobics and gymnastics uh from hmm. online YouTube uh lessons. So in the mm. in the living room, just doing yeah. exercise there. <clears throat> and I decided to take it up because I can't go to the gym at the moment. Mm. And I am a yeah, super like sporty, athletic yeah. person. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, you're a dancer as well. I'm a dancer. Obviously, <laughs> I can't dance in this moment. Absolutely not. Mm. Also, because I dance salsa. And yeah. <laughs> Latin American, let's say Caribbean style dancing, which requires you to dance with a partner, which All you can't do. <laughs> no touching. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Anyway, so I decided yeah. to take it up because of the quarantine. All right. Yeah, that's great. Veronica, oh, my yeah. current hobby is watch. So it would be is watching movies in English, mm-hmm. the ones I've seen before and in Italian. The new ones. Okay, okay, great. So you can watch the Italian ones first, so you understand the story, and then you mm. can watch them again in English, and hopefully That's you will great. understand more because you know the storyline. It's a great exposure to, yeah, English for sure. Yeah. So be careful. It would be watching. My current hobby is watching. So with the continuous form. Mm-hmm. Okay. And Luigi says my current hobby is singing in a gospel choir. Wow. Oh, nice. I decided to start it last September. The latest one after quarantine is learning and the Arabic language. Amazing. Wow. What, okay, that what must be difficult. Hobby? Yeah. I do love the sound of Arabic, though. I think that's, that's a great hobby. Yeah. 
So I would say the latest one is learning the Arabic language. Yeah, because it's a specific language, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like yeah, it. I should do that. I would love to start like brushing up on my Spanish because I did mm. start learning Spanish many years ago, but I haven't got time now with my, I have two children mm. and yeah. between work and. and you, speak, you speak French as well, don't you though? So you speak Spanish. Yeah, Spanish, I would like to also French, brush up on my French. My French mm -hmm. is not great because I never mm -hmm. practice, never ever practice. Mm -hmm. So, sure, yeah, yeah. great. Filippo oh. says mm -hmm. no, ha ha ha. I <laughs> point it towards the the sky. Mm -hmm. Last Saturday night, I watched Venus in conjunction with Pleiades. Open, open cluster. cluster. Wow! So you Incredible. like astronomy? Okay, yeah, great. astronomist among us. Yeah. Uh, be careful when you write the days of the week. Remember, mm -hmm. they are always written with a capital letter. Yeah, so Saturday English. would be a big S, mm -hmm. capital S. Hi, Elvira hey. from Rome. Filippo says binoculars would have been enough. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But you go the extra mile and you use a telescope. Are <laughs> enough. And be careful of the spelling. Enough. Oops enough okay sabrina mm. what does she say she yeah, says, says my current hobby is attending the mayas webinars the, probably more than one yeah or the quarantine began maybe since S yeah since yeah it would be here we would use since absolutely mm -hmm. Okay. Excellent, you guys. Way to go, Sabrina. Tell your friends. <laughs> yeah, very good. Spread the word. So, number two. Mm. Christine? Okay, number two, yeah. Do you tend to start a lot of hobbies but get bored quickly? Ooh, mm. this person is peering into my soul. <laughs> <laughs> really? Are you one of those people who give I, up very quickly? It's not that I want to give up but i'm interested in so many things mm. and i tend to have a short attention span so i i tend to not go very far into a hobby i'll start a lot of things and sort of dabble in mm. a lot of things but not become proficient okay so it's not my right. best quality i'll admit but <laughs> i I'll, I'll start a lot of things and not finish them <laughs> okay yeah. Elvira says, I have a lot of hobbies. Now I'm lucky because I have enough time yeah. to do them, to do yeah. many of them, like to study English. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Yeah. So um, <laughs> remember when you write languages or um, nationalities, we always mm -hmm. write them with a capital letter. So mm -hmm. English is always with a capital E. Italian is with a capital I. Arabic, capital A. Okay. Definitely, yeah. Ooh, right. Juicy, I, I feel you there. She says, my current hobby is cooking every day. Every Not every day, day, but every day. Yeah. Juicy, me too. It's okay. A long life. My current hobby is eating every day. So you cook away <laughs> and I will eat it all up. <laughs> perfect perfect yeah this is why i've taken up my new hobby of doing aerobics and gymnastics yeah, at home yeah. because i eat constantly i'm going to come back to school yeah. and i'm going to be five or six kilos, kilos more i think yeah i definitely have <laughs> um all right so joelle have you ever tried zumba it's like a, a latin dance yes i have thing. but i don't really don't enjoy like it. it that much. Mm. No, okay, I curious. like to separate separate my dance from my, yeah, from my exercise, exercise routine because fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, I'm I'm very um, I don't know. I I, I love my da dancing, but you like dance, dance to has to be dance. dance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, if I'm doing exercise and I want to keep fit and work on my muscles, just mm -hmm. jumping around and having fun is not my idea of what I need to do to get fit. So um, sure. yeah. I do I do them separately. Yeah, no worries, of course. Okay, Filippo, I think it's similar to you. <laughs> I don't know, he <laughs> says, 
I tend to start a lot of hobbies, but maybe my nature is to stay on the couch watching Netflix <laughs> and reading a book. <laughs> Absolutely. Mm, well, yeah. <laughs> I, I do like watching Netflix series and reading, but I'm an active person too. <laughs> I love running. That's one of my favorite things to yeah, do. But I remember you used to run all yeah, the time. You used to do like half yeah. marathons and stuff. Uh, I ran two half marathons, yeah. But I haven't had much time since my son has since my son was born to run long distances. Mm. So now I can really only find maybe a half hour at a time to go for a run. Yeah. So mm -hmm. It's okay. It's better than nothing. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Take what you can get. Yeah. Um, Elvira says, my current hobbies are to study English, to practice yoga and painting. Okay, Lovely, great. Yeah. Yoga with one G. Okay, just yeah. one G, like yeah, Italian yoga. Yeah, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Oh, there we are. Great. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> she got All it. Right. And Luigi says, I don't have too much time. So I tend to start a lot of hobbies. However, I get bored quickly with some hobbies, plural, like the gym, for example, singular. For example, okay. singular. Hmm. All right. And he says, I don't yeah. tend to start a lot of hobbies negative mm. yeah true okay. yeah all right very good so um are there any activities you used to do but don't do anymore and why did you stop Ooh. Mm. <laughs> where do i Let start count the list. <laughs> yeah let's get let's get out some pen and paper <laughs> and write them down now i yeah this is Again, this is my MO, this is my mode of operations. I, I tend to start things and then not, not continue them. So um, do you say you, you still run occasionally then? Yeah, I went for a run, yeah, two days ago. So I still run, mm -hmm. that's one of my passions for sure. Mm -hmm. But um, I don't run, I don't train anymore. Yeah. I'm not running semi-competitively anymore. Okay. So. All right. I do like training though. I like having a goal. I used to um, train for half marathons, but hmm. not right now. I used to rollerblade hmm. very often. I still have cool. my rollerblades down in the cellar. Nice. Um, but I used to rollerblade as a child, but I haven't done it as an adult. It's so fun. Yeah, I did it from when I was like 13 until I was 18. Like constantly, every weekend, I would rollerblade around my area, awesome. around my neighborhood. I would go to roller discos. That is uh, so I loved cool. My, I loved my roller discos. <laughs> That's so and fun. I stopped because when I moved to Italy, it wasn't possible anymore. I moved to mm. a very hilly area. So my, my oh, parents, yeah. my father's village is on the top of a hill. So everywhere is going up or going down yeah so it's really hard when you roll going blade. down is great but going <laughs> back up <laughs> is a nightmare yeah. so yeah. i had yeah. to stop i just it wasn't feasible anymore to roll a blade in in my area and then i started working full time so i had mm. no more time any other other activities students that you used to do yeah, in, the so in the past but not anymore and mm. why did you stop Mm. Um, and number four, we'll go on while we wait for our students' oh, answers. Number four. Are you an adrenaline junkie, mm. Christine? That's a great question. <clears throat> I, I wouldn't say I'm an adrenaline junkie, mm. per se. I Me love either. adventure. Mm -hmm. I love travel. I love new experiences. But... I don't think I could define myself an adrenaline junkie. Yeah, you don't like risky things, right? No, I don't love extreme, uh, extreme things. So yeah, me neither. I'm absolutely not an adrenaline junkie. I <laughs> yeah. think when I was about sixteen, seventeen, I really, really wanted to try bungee jumping. Mm, I've done it because, actually. Wow! So you are an <laughs> adrenaline junkie. Well, God. No, I mean. <laughs> I've done bungee jumping, but that's pretty much the most extreme thing I've done as far as adrenaline junkie. Well, that's as stuff, extreme but... as you get, I think. Jumping yeah, off yeah. a bridge or a cliff or whatever it is. I mean, God, why? Uh, why? Why? Yeah, it was nuts. 
I was young. I was younger. <laughs> yeah. So um, Elvira asks, what, what means adrenaline junkie? So remember to be careful. We need to use the quasi form. It's still a present um, simple question. So we need yeah. to use quasi. So we need the auxiliary. What third person does? Mm. And then you have your word, whatever it is. And then the verb infinitive form mm -hmm. what does mm mean so yeah. what does adrenaline junkie mean yeah. uh it Good means question, mm -hmm. yeah it means a person who looks for um danger. something yeah danger something that will get their adrenaline pumping so mm -hmm. any kind of activity that will make their adrenaline rush okay they get an adrenaline yeah. rush so people that like extreme sports or extreme activities, mm -hmm. kind of adrenaline junkies. Okay. So here we have an, an answer from Elvira talking about mm. an activity she used to do. Until five years ago, ago, mm. we need a go. Until five mm. years ago, I used to dance, oh, Argentinian tango. Mm, beautiful. Wow. But I stopped last year because uh, milongas open very late in that night and I get sleepy at that time. Okay. Yeah. Milongas are the places that you go to dance uh, Argentinian tango. So Ooh. yeah. I didn't even know that. That's great. It's just like, uh, it's just like the clubs that I go to, to dance salsa. If you want to go yeah. and dance salsa, the earliest you can go is 11 in the evening, 11 PM. So it's just like, like a normal going to club. bed at 11. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, oh, yeah. oh, also oh. we've got, Sabrina, mm -hmm. she yesterday tried to do exercise at the bottom, so now I can't stand oh, up. Okay, your glutes. Okay, yeah. your glutes. <laughs> yesterday I tried to do exercise. Yeah, I don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so you would you would Definitely say yesterday? Yeah. Yesterday, I did some exercises. Yeah, for my glutes so mm. glutes is short for um gluteus or your gluteus, yeah glutei 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 okay so we just say glutes yeah. for short yeah okay yeah that's Ooh. that's terrible they are they are brutal that, that i do them all the you. time yeah. i do them all the time i'm absolutely obsessed with working on my glutes <laughs> <laughs> okay oh, it is not an adrenaline junkie yeah yeah so understood. you don't need to use person because it's mm. we we understand it's that not it's not an just, adjective it's just the the type so yeah. an adrenaline junkie person uh, or adrenaline junkie sorry so luigi i used to collect telephone cards for phone booths and mm. i've stopped because i got bored oh, oh wow you i know they used to have like really pretty pictures on the front i remember them they were different mm. all the telephone cards um had like every month or every couple of weeks, they would change the the image on the front. So yeah, didn't know that. Yeah, we're, we're talking like twenty five years ago <laughs> <laughs> when oh, telephone true. booths still existed and people used yeah, them. Yeah, <laughs> true, true. Yeah. Um, Veronica hmm. she says she played volleyball and dance, but I stop. Maybe I've stopped. Present perfect. Okay. I've stopped these sports because I don't like them anymore. Mm -hmm. And I had a lot of muscles and I didn't like my body. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah muscles are great. Are I don't know. It, yeah. But if you work out and train too hard, especially for a woman, you can become extremely muscly and maybe you don't see yourself mm -hmm. very much, very feminine you anymore. You don't like it. Yeah, that's something. Yeah. Um, I also played volleyball in high school, despite mm -hmm. being as short as I am, but <laughs> yeah, I did too for a short while. Yeah. So I remember when you being used... a volleyball player. Yeah. 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 I, I did like most sports in high school though. When you have to do those sports like basketball, volleyball, netball, mm -hmm. um, badminton, ch tennis, everything. Yeah. Yeah. So be careful when you write I, um, you need to use a capital I if it's a subject. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's a little different than Italian, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Sabrina, I used to play paddle, like paddle boarding. I don't paddle know. boarding, maybe. Possibly. So maybe I used to do 
paddle boarding. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or just, I used to paddle board. I use it yeah. as a verb. Mm. Yeah. We usually use play with sports that have teams, I think. Teams and yeah. a ball. Mm. True, yeah. true. During the quarantine, it, you need the subject, it is impossible to play outdoors with S. other people. Yeah, therefore now I can't play. But when it will be possible, I will play, or maybe just I will paddleboard or, or do paddle boarding, I don't know. Mm -hmm. And I will be very happy. All right. Yeah, everyone. I'm sure you will. Looking forward uh, nice to use of Nice use of therefore. Very good. Yeah. Um, uh Definitely. connective there very good mm -hmm. um <laughs> no nice it is <laughs> i don't think it qualifies i don't think it qualifies no okay so i am not an adrenaline junkie i don't like anything that puts my life at risk mm -hmm. so i don't like bungee jumping i don't like mm -hmm. paragliding or um do you like, Even are you just, afraid of heights or? No, 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 I'm not afraid of heights. I just, um, yeah, I wouldn't want to put into, myself yeah. into the position of where I could hurt myself. Mm. Like even scuba diving, for example, which is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. When I watch documentaries of people, you know, under the water and looking at mm. coral and fish, and it's amazing, it's fascinating, but I could oh, yeah. never go to 20 or 50 meters below the water with just a tank of air and I would and love to go no, um, scuba I diving do I, love I couldn't it. do it because I've seen what happens if you go to the surface too quickly and you get the fall you get the bends yeah oh god no 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 <laughs> somebody else can do that <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay Lord. paddle is this oh okay I know what it is it's not paddle boarding Sabrina oh. says it with a team and it's like tennis it's oh. if you have like a bat and it's re really wide and it's like a paddle oh. I know what Never it is that. now that you've okay. mentioned it I have seen it I didn't know what it was before I had to look it up on mm. uh, on okay. internet okay yeah Great. so it is play absolutely <laughs> yeah. he's a lazy junkie <laughs> <laughs> yeah me too me too Okay, Juicy says, I, capital I, we need capital I, have played, oh, again, karate is not a team game with a ball, mm -hmm. so you would say um, done, done to do karate. Yeah. We do martial arts. Mm -hmm. So I have done karate in other disciplines, mm -hmm. so you need plural, like Krav Maga. Mm -hmm. I have stopped because at the end of each a workout, workout, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I had, I, capital I, had a lot of bruises. Oh, yeah. Mm. This is the reason why I've never taken up martial arts. I would love to be able to, I would love to know how to defend myself in a, mm. you know, in a dangerous situation. Yeah. But I just, I bruise like a peach. What can I say? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. So, hmm. Interests match the words to the categories so i will mm -hmm. write i'll read the first half of the list and christine sure. can read the next hunting yeah, skydiving yeah. rowing fishing collecting kayaking gardening bowling okay now we've got paddle boarding <laughs> different than paddle we've learned yeah bungee jumping windsurfing knitting hiking paragliding fencing and rock climbing Okay, so what types of activities are these? Are they uh, outdoorsy uh, mm. activities, sports, leisure, or adrenaline junkie? So what is mm. leisure, just in case our students don't know what that is? Yeah, I think just like easy free time activities, maybe something you do at home. Yeah, I think um, leisure is something I do to relax. Yeah, something I do. Yeah, something pleasurable and relaxing. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Sabrina says she's not an adrenaline junkie. Mm -hmm. When I go to the Luna Park, for me, it's too much. Not from me. What is Luna Park? I don't really know. Maybe it's a. I know what it is, but do the students mm -hmm. know how to say it in English? So we don't say Luna Park. 
We mm -hmm. call this a fun fair. Mm. Yeah, so Luna Park is a oops, is a fun fair. Mm. So you don't like even you don't even like the rides at the fun fair. So you're definitely not an adrenaline junkie, Sabrina. Okay. <laughs> so let's have a look at these activities. Which category do you think they go in? So students, write your opinions in the chat and we'll see if you are right. Remember, some of these could be in more than one category because... Um, yeah, it's kind of like up to you if you think it's outdoorsy or leisure. Like Yeah, like outdoorsy could also be a sport. Yeah. Because if you if you do this sport outdoors, it means yeah. you're still an outdoorsy person, I suppose. Sure, sure, yeah. So they're kind of a little bit, some of them are a bit difficult to place. So, yeah. um, okay, we've got Elvira who thinks hunting is a sport and Filippo who thinks hunting is outdoorsy. Mm, see, different opinions, but I think, yeah. yeah it's, I would say it's outdoorsy. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, because you can't hunt indoors, can you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Luigi says hunting like fishing is in the category of sport or mm. outdoorsy. So there you go. You see, we have 50 50. Mm. Skydiving is adrenaline junkie. I agree, Elvira. Totally. Definitely. Absolutely. I would love to do that over the Alps. I think that would be so beautiful. It would be. I In just like I would be terrified of. Maybe I'll just watch a video of that and of landing. Be, yeah, and be uh, it's, happy it's with not, that. It's not the skydiving part that I'm afraid of. It's the landing part. Like if you land mm -hmm. wrong, you might break a leg or something. Oh, good or worse. So yeah, break you your know. spine. Yeah, that could be really tragic. Yeah, exactly. So this is why I'm like, yeah, I'll leave it to you guys. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> just watch a video of it on YouTube. Yeah, it's from someone's GoPro. <laughs> so it's like you're there. Uh, <laughs> rowing is outdoorsy. Mm. And then Luigi says rowing is a sport <laughs> right after. I think I agree with Luigi. I mean, in England, rowing is a huge thing. Mm. Um, and it's it's also an Olympic sport. Yeah, it is also something it's in the Olympics. to do outdoors. Yeah, yeah it is, sport. absolutely. So I guess where's the division? Mm. Veronica thinks fishing is a sport. Um, kayaking is a mm. sport for Veronica. Mm, I don't know. I don't think it is. Competitive kayaking. Mm. No, I would say it's more outdoorsy. Okay. Yeah. Those categories obviously have a lot of overlap. Obviously. Yeah, exactly. Gardening is leisure. Good juicy. Absolutely. There's mm -hmm. no, no competition here. It's absolutely leisure. Mm. Collecting, Luigi, well done. You know this is leisure. You mm -hmm. do it for fun. You do it just for pleasure. Yeah. Yeah. Filippo says, what is rowing? Okay, I will show you. Mm. You are in the, a, a canoe, like a canoe in the water, and you do this in the water. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> this is rowing. Uh, fishing is outdoorsy. Great. Um, what about bowling, guys? Bowling? Any ideas? Um, this is pretty easy, I think. It's both sport and leisure, though, because people do competitively bowl. In the States. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, just like rowing is competitive in the UK. <laughs> yeah, but you actually, it's actually in the Olympics. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's true. Rowing is in the Olympic Games. Like, they have... Yeah. So I don't know. Oh, I guess if that's your de Olympic. definition of like sports. Yeah. yeah. Not all sports are in the Olympics, so. Paddleboarding. What is paddleboarding? <laughs> yeah. Paddleboarding is like you're you're standing on a surfboard, mm. kind of like like a surfboard, uh, but you don't surf like this. You have a, a an oar with a paddle on the bottom, and you actually physically paddle yourself on mm. the surfboard okay definitely, so usually definitely. you need pretty calm water to do this 
Mm-hmm. So you would do it in a lake, on a lagoon, on a on a river, maybe. Yeah. Well, not at the mm-hmm. beach with waves. It's right. Uh, It'd be hard. Yeah. Outdoorsy and also a sport. Filippo thinks he loves it. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Bowling is a sport and leisure. There we are. Lia has both. Knitting is leisure. Absolutely, Elvira. Mm-hmm. So knitting is this when you have like a jumper or a sweater and you a scarf and you yeah, and you create it you, by... you create it yourself mm-hmm. with two like sticks mm-hmm. i don't know the technical name for those sticks <laughs> knitting sticks needles knitting needles <laughs> knitting needles there you are well done <laughs> okay so hiking windsurf mm. bungee jumping mm. these are pretty simple yeah hiking is outdoorsy right that's not something with some kind of objective, like a sport. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like you like to be outside and enjoy the, the yeah. outdoors. Um, yeah. Windsurfing? Definitely just... Uh, I think it's a sport. Yeah, maybe even adrenaline, because it can be kind of in, intense. Yeah, maybe. I, I don't know. I, I find it less adrenaline-y like, than... I would say either outdoorsy or sport yeah. windsurfing. We also have the competition of windsurfing mm. uh, every year, like the regattas they have. Mm-hmm. So windsurfing is a sport. Fencing, yeah. So Philippe was asking, what is paragliding and what is fencing? Mm. So paragliding is yeah. with a triangular um, piece of material cloth or something you jump like a off sail, almost. sorry like a it's sail like a yeah sail, only it's not used yeah in the water you jump off a, a cliff or a mountain and you hold on to a pole and you you glide down to the valley okay and with a triangular mm. shape um sail yeah 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 it's kind of crazy it's, not, it's like it's not parachuting it's not yeah. parachuting because the parachute, the, sh- the shape of the sail is like an umbrella, but paragliding, it's flat mm-hmm. and it's mm-hmm. triangular. And it sort of just grabs the wind to mm-hmm. guide you down. It's quite dangerous, though, because mm-hmm. if the wind doesn't behave like you want yeah. to. And fencing is with like a sword. Choo, 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 and you, you have yes. to. The, <laughs> let me see if I got a pen oh, earlier. Yeah. Pen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is fencing. It's quite popular in Italy, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Very popular. Um so we have paragliding adrenaline junkie, bungee jumping, windsurfing, paragliding, rock climbing are adrenaline junkies, according to mm. Luigi. Very good. Fencing is leisure, according to mm. Elvira. Hmm. It's quite competitive here, though, isn't it? Very, very. It's also in the Olympics, I think. Yeah, yeah. So let's have a look. We've got all the answers here. Remember, some of these are, you know, if depending on your opinion, it could be different. So let's say definitely skydiving, bungee jumping, paragliding, and rock climbing are adrenaline junkies. Mm -hmm. Uh, Can you read leisure? Yeah. Um, so actually, I would pronounce it leisure. Oh the yeah, there you are, American. Yeah. Um, collecting, <clears throat> gardening, bowling, and knitting. Yeah. So, guys, Those take note undisputed. of yeah, take note of the difference of pronunciation between uh, the U.S. and the U.K. I say mm-hmm. leisure. She says leisure. Okay. Mm-hmm. So things that you do to relax or to. Yeah. Um, enjoy your, yeah. yeah, very easygoing, laid back activity. Outdoorsy, hunting, fishing, kayaking, and hiking. Some people mm. may not agree with the fishing and hunting because they think it's a sport. Yeah. But it could, be, could, be, yeah. could yeah. be. It could be, but it's definitely because you're an outdoorsy person. You like being in nature and being outside. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, and, and then we sports, have the sports. Yeah, rowing, paddleboarding, windsurfing, and fencing. 
Yeah. So, so just remember, all of these are also Olympic sports. So yeah, those are some yeah. examples. Obviously, there are many more sports that could be yeah. your hobbies. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Um, do you want to read? I do. Yeah. So ambitions. Ambitions are kind of like your goals, right? Something you mm -hmm. maybe your objectives. Passion. Yeah. So fill in the blank with four since or the present perfect tense. Okay. All right. So just a quick recap. When do we use for and when do we use since? Mm -hmm. Well, both you both are used to indicate uh, a time. Mm -hmm. Use with present perfect. So the difference or present in, perfect continuous. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we can use for to indicate the time period mm -hmm. or the block of time and yeah. since to indicate the starting point. Yeah. So so a specific maybe, date. Yeah. Exactly. So I've lived in Florence for 4 years or I've lived in Florence since 2016. Yeah. All right. right. So same same time period, but two mm -hmm. ways to talk about it. Yeah. Okay. Do you want me to read this or? Yeah, go for it. Yeah. Okay. So I have been running for or since three years. I usually train with my friend. We run 10 half marathons and one marathon for or since we started. Now we are training for our second marathon. Ooh. I feel that I struggle with my training. I don't like to run alone, but my friend not have time to train with me recently. My mm. aspiration is to finish in under five hours, but I'm afraid I won't reach my goal. Mm. Is that good? Is that finish? I think most people could finish a marathon. Most, I mean, if you've run 10 half marathons, you can probably finish in under five hours. Yeah, I don't know. I have no idea what. Yeah. Well, what to give you an idea, are. I'm not a really fast runner. I'm pretty average for women my age, and I run a marathon or a marathon, a half marathon in two hours. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah. But two hours is like you. You can get a pretty good pace and just keep the the stamina going for two hours. If you have to do double that, like I think after oh, well, yeah. three hours I mean, of running, saying, I think your stamina only, goes down. No, no, definitely. <laughs> yeah. But I'm saying if this person has already run a marathon and they've run 10 half marathons, I've only done two. So I'm, I'm okay. pretty much a beginner runner. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. So I guess that's how I'm deciding that, but. <laughs> okay, so we've got plenty of, um, yeah, of answers here. So far. Yeah, good, you guys. So let's go through so, and Look at those. So I've been running for Vera, Josie, Filippo, both have got uh, four. So mm. good, you guys. Very nice. Definitely. We have the only one that works. Yeah, we have um, a, a, a length of time. There. So we mm -hmm. absolutely need four. Yeah. Yeah. I usually train with my friend. We. Hmm. So we need the verb run. Yeah. And which tense do we need to use? Mm. I'd say we need present perfect here. Because okay, so. until this moment, or so far, we have run 10 half marathons in our lives. Okay. okay. So we have Luigi and Filippo have got it right. Also, Juzi has got it yeah. right. Mm -hmm. Have run and since we started. Very good. Very yeah, cool then. <laughs> we have a specific time. We started. Yeah. Now we are training for our second marathon. I feel that I. Mm, mm. So we have the verb struggle. Mm -mm, what does mm -mm, struggle mean? I think it's when you sort of have difficulty and you, you just continue to try, but you're struggling, you're having yeah. problems. When you were finding it hard, finding yeah, it difficult. Yeah. Sort of battling with yourself. So mm. Elvira says will struggle, but we're mm. not using the future tense here. The, 
Yeah. It's not so, an option. Future so is not an already, option. Yeah, they've already begun training, right? So now, mm -hmm. so now we are training for a second marathon. Yeah. Okay. So, so it's not something that we're deciding. It's not something in the future. It's it's happening now. Yeah. So yeah. this is also an action verb. Mm. Uh, you can use present perfect. You can also use present perfect continuous here mm -hmm. because it could yeah. be in this moment I have been struggling with my training it could mm -hmm. be it's it's, a, it's not incorrect to use it yeah but I would agree here, with you. yeah they're using the present perfect because yeah okay yeah, until this moment so yeah. this person's indicating that we started training in the past we are still training it's still continuing to now yeah. And I feel that I have struggled with my training until yeah. this point, mm -hmm. until the present. Yeah. So I don't like to run alone, but my friend, mm, time to train with me recently. We've got a couple of different ideas, but guys, I will remind you that we're using the subject, my friend, not me. It's a third person, he or she, my friend. Mm -hmm. so a lot of answers that have nothing to do with third person and I'm it's pointing my right finger tense. at you. <laughs> a lot of you, Filippo, third Luigi, Juzi, Sabrina, you all use the right. Ah, there we are. Very good, Filippo. We've got there, yeah. Yes. Excellent. Yeah. Right. Hasn't had. Mm, good, you guys. Had. Thank all you. Of you. Very good. Third person. <laughs> okay, absolutely. Yeah. So, yeah. number one, when do we use for and since we've established? Mm. Uh, number two, what are synonyms for challenge and goal? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, this is great. Um... Or maybe we haven't got much time left. Let's yeah. jump to less, uh, question number three. Because yeah, this is maybe. what we want to just discuss now. Mm -hmm, what is the yeah. difference between present perfect and present perfect continuous? Mm. The ever intense question of English grammar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the hard, the hardest lesson in all of uh, my English school is eight point two. <laughs> yeah, present probably. perfect, present perfect, continuous. Yeah. So present perfect is when we are talking about something that started in the past and continues to now. So has a Mm. Uh, an effect or has um, a relationship result. a relationship with now and mm -hmm. we're talking about the result yeah, yeah exactly definitely. Um, instead the present perfect continuous is talking about something that started in the past but continues till now and we are still doing it focusing Absolutely. on the activity focusing on, the action. on yeah the action yeah. so um, remember some verbs we can use both and they are indifferent so I have yeah. lived in Florence for eight years, or I have been living in Florence for eight years. Yeah. Doesn't really make a difference. No. But if I say I have done two webinars this morning, mm -hmm. that means that I've finished doing my webinars. Mm -hmm. Also because it's basically afternoon now. In 10 minutes, it yeah. will be the afternoon. Mm -hmm. But if I say I have been teaching English all morning, mm -hmm. This means I'm still teaching English and I yeah, haven't, haven't finished. finished. Mm. I will still be teaching English for the rest of the day. So the mm. activity hasn't finished. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah. Okay. So just remember with present perfect continuous, it's continuing. It's still mm -hmm. happening now. Okay. So yeah. I have been teaching all morning. I have been drinking a coffee. I'm not yep. done with it yet. I haven't finished. Or maybe something has finished, but it only, uh, we want to know, for example, if I can see that you are wet and I want to know mm -hmm. why you became this way, you can mm -hmm. tell me the activity you were doing to become this way. The cause, yeah, the yeah. cause and effect. Yeah. Definitely. So if I say, oh, uh, Christine, I don't know, uh, why are you so tired? Hmm. Well, I've been, <laughs> let me tell you the ways. I've been, 
I've been feeding my son and cooking breakfast for my family and cooking lunch so that lunch is ready when we're finished yeah, with our webinars. So, yeah, so obviously she's not doing these things right now, but yeah. these are lots of right different now, things that I'm she was doing. A webinar. But just recently, uh, yeah, she did all the these thing. activities, and yeah. that's why now yeah. she's tired. Okay, yeah. right. Thank you for joining us, everybody. Yeah. And have a great day. Enjoy the sunshine if you can, mm -hmm. being safe, and hope to see you soon. Yeah, have a good one, you guys. Bye. Bye. Thanks. Bye.